Ooh, hello, Leo. So I said we will be doing a bonus read since y'all, I'm, I'm sorry, my, my son, it's, it's that time. So I'll try to talk as loud as possible because y'all know I don't got no mic. But I promise y'all I will do a bonus read since the previous reading was just a little intense. It was just so. I hope you guys have been feeling like a recharge in your energy. Feeling more excited about what's coming. Focusing on what you need to do. And really charging for it. Like prioritizing the things you need to focus on at this time in your life. Instead of allowing your worries to get the best of you. So that one is to flip in the reverse. I don't have these cards in the reverse currently. I used to mix them, but right now I don't have them mixed. But that one one is to pop up in the reverse. So I am seeing that you guys are in this energy of wanting a connection. But right now it's just not the right time. There, there are some blockages that are preventing you from getting the relationship that you desire. It doesn't mean that it's not coming in. It is coming in. It's just not coming in as fast as you want because there are some things that you still need to work on. It's like the moment that you accept that and you do what you're being guided to do, that's going to turn this energy around. But if you guys remain in a energy of being in denial about what you're being guided to do, what you're needing to prioritize, you can manifest a connection, but will it be the right connection for you versus if you prioritize the things that you need to do at this time? Y'all can do it. Shoot, y'all Leos. Y'all can push through any sort of challenge. Y'all got the strength. Y'all are the strength card. Y'all have the strength within. If no other sign has it, y'all have it. Y'all have the strength and the courage to push past any obstacle in your life. So refocus your energy on the things that you need to be focused on at this time so you can push through any challenges y'all are facing at this time. Because y'all are the prize. Woman holding the cone. Or holding holding a cone. Look. Oh, Lord. Been to too many ice cream shops. I don't got myself together, too. So, I hope I'm praying. Y'all on the same path. Y'all ready for what's coming in. Because I know I'm getting ready. I hope y'all getting ready, too. Woman holding a coin. So, people see you as a prize. Guess what? The energy that you're coming to, you're going to be the one with, you're going to be the one holding the prize here. You are the prize. You're going to be the one with the trophy. So it's like after dealing with some disappointments here, not getting the love that you wanted, not getting the support that you needed, it's like failed relationships. A lot of disappointments here in the recent past. The past in general. You are rising to the occasion. People are about to see you in a completely different light. And it's because you're prioritizing yourself. Forget the things you need to be focused on. What you need to be focused on is yourself. Getting your energy up. How can you tap into it? Y'all need to tap into that lion. That lion within you. In order for you to walk into the sun. Because this is where you're coming. You're about to reach this place in your life very soon. Because it's popping up in your current energy. So some of y'all have felt like this surge in your energy. Some of y'all up at the gym. Y'all couldn't go past four, uh, 4.0 on the speed. Now y'all doing eight. It's like all of a sudden your adrenaline is just going. 
Because y'all know it's like it's enough time. It's, it's enough with the procrastination here. It's time to get that money. It's time to refocus on you, yourself, prioritizing yourself, your self-love here. Because you know what you're about to walk into. Y'all got a lot of money. That's what you're attracting. I didn't even notice the black cat protection here. Nobody is going to want to mess with you. Nobody's going to want to cross you. Y'all going to have a bunch of people wanting to kiss your ass. The same people that were talking shit about you are going to be kissing your ass. The same people that close doors on you are going to be asking, can they hold the door for you? It's, it's, I'm going to tell you what, because as far as relationships, y'all don't have some people to break your heart in the past. And they're about to see you. They're going to realize you are the prize all along. See, some of y'all were put in third party situations here. Somebody chose someone else over you and that shit is falling apart. That tower has crumbled. And they're seeing you like, damn, Leo was it all along. See, they didn't realize they had a diamond. Because you had some mud on you. You was covered in some dirt, some mud. You was taking on other people's burdens. So they couldn't see who you really were. They didn't see the diamond. Now they see it. But what they didn't realize was they were meant to see the dirt. Because they weren't worthy of the prize. That's what they're realizing. See, this is the thing though. Because once y'all reach this point in your life, don't get too comfortable there. Continue to grow. Continue to push forward because y'all are going to reach a point shortly where things are just going very well for you. Say you get that promotion you always wanted. But if, the, if your spirit guides are guiding you, you know, you put the work in here, but there's something better for you. Or they're, they're guiding you to go back to school to level up. Because you're meant for more. It's something here with someone where you reach a particular level in your life. You achieve some major goal of yours. And then you just stop. Because you're like, I'm not sure. It's like you step into this energy of fear. Fear in the unknown. After you don't move forward and push through some obstacles of the past. So it's like, okay, I, I achieved this. I don't want to push my luck. They want you to be mindful of that. Don't reach a level and stop there. Because then if you stop, you're going to start moving backwards again. So keep pushing forward. Say you guys lose weight. You've been wanting to reach a certain goal. And you, you reach a certain goal, but it's still more to go. You can't just stop. You can't just start back eating the same type of foods here. Because then you're going to end up back where you started. That's what they want you to be mindful of. Once you receive the prize, keep pushing forward. Don't stop there. You don't have to keep doing the same thing. Switch it up. Say if I'm just going to refer to someone focusing on their weight goals here. If you've been going to the gym, you've been working out on your own. Switch it up. Find you a trainer. Go to a Pilates class. Go to a yoga class. You know, switch it up to keep yourself thrilled about what you're doing. So you can like achieve more goals. 
to stay motivated. It's like I'm comfortable in my garden. I have everything that I need here. But there's still a whole nother world out there. You're not meant to just stay in your garden. Strategy. So you're needing to be strategic at this time. Focusing on what you love. That's what's guiding you towards your life purpose here. What do you truly love? Some of you guys really need to meditate and be honest with yourself about what do you truly love? What do you get excited about? You definitely, I am seeing some of y'all the reason why connections were blocked in the past was because you guys were surrounded by some envious people and i'm getting for some people here it was your own family but i'm gonna tell you what the same people that were blocking your blessings here doing things to keep you in like a state of anxiety has you thinking you weren't meant for this, you weren't meant for that. You'll never have the love that you desire, the love that you deserve. Settle for this person because that's the best you can get. They're about to watch you living out your dreams. And it took you separating yourself from these people in order to achieve this. Because they're on see you living this very stable, happy life with someone who treats you well, someone who treats you the way you deserve, someone who's very generous and kind-hearted here. I mean, some of y'all, the person you could be meeting, you have a child, this person has a child as well. And you're all going to get along very well. Some of y'all could be connecting with someone that lost a child as well. I don't know why I'm getting that message for someone here. Some of y'all could. I'm either someone, because I'm seeing someone could have had like a miscarriage, but I'm also seeing someone here actually lost a child. But I'm really getting that with the person that you'll be connecting with. I'm seeing you guys in a relationship with someone that loves you deeply here. This is a very soulful connection. This person is going to help you along your journey because I'm saying someone here has been doing it on their own. But you're no longer... It's like the same people that were trying to keep you stuck. They're stuck in their own darkness here. They can't come out to where you are because they still haven't worked through this energy. They're still trying to find out things to do to get at you, to disrupt your energy. And they're stuck. They don't realize the same stuff that they're trying to throw at you is just falling back on them. It's not affecting you at all. But they're just too silly to realize it. It's not affecting you. Some of y'all, if it is affecting you, but I'm going to tell you what, whoever I'm getting this message for, it's not affecting you. I've talked about in previous messages, anyone I talk to one-on-one, -on -one, the main thing that I preach with people, because I've been there, I know. I'm going to tell you what, because God wouldn't use people to give messages if it's like, I can't sit up here and tell y'all things are going to be easy. Everything is going to just work out fine. When I've always had things handed to me, I have been through it too. 
So I will tell y'all, you can get through it as well. I still have things that I'm working through, but I continue to stay focused on what I need to achieve. I don't worry about what someone else has going on. I don't allow people to, to disrupt my energy anymore, to disrupt my peace. If someone is focused on you, that says it all. Why are they focused on you and you're not focused on them? Leave them where they at. Because that same energy they trying to send your way and your direction is falling right back on them. Some of y'all, the only reason why you are feeling affected by some people is because you can't get out your head. And that's when you allow them to have power and control over your life, what you're trying to manifest, what's going on. The moment you learn to get out your head and to no longer allow those people to have that type of power over your life, is the moment you take your power back and you start manifesting the things that you want. You start charging the head. You step in that strength energy. You show them who's the king of the jungle, who's the queen of the jungle. They're wanting you to be strategic. Write out a plan here. What are you going to do? What do you need to be focused on? What do you want? But there needs to be some sort of strategy you can't go about life aimlessly here because if you feel like your life's been all over the place, that means you're not being, you're not focused. And if you have it written out here, they're wanting you to do something to help direct your energy. The message I'm getting is for someone who feels like their energy has been all over the place and they're telling you what to do to help redirect your energy. Because the moment you're focused on your goals, where you, where you want to be in life, and you start putting the work and effort towards getting there, that's when things completely switch up for you. That's that unstoppable energy. You ain't worried about what nobody else got to say. You ain't worried about what nobody else thinks because you're too focused on what you need to do. You got too much going on to be worried about what someone else has to say or think. If they worried about you, that's their problem. Because you doggone sure ain't worried about them. Your advice with the five of wands here in the chariot in reverse is not to allow these negative energies to this to throw you off course here anymore if you have been doing it not at all if you're not doing it 
So in the future, if you guys have some people trying to compete with you, trying to throw you off course, your mindset should be, there is no competition. When you're staying in your own lane and the only competition you see is yourself. That's, the, that's their advice for you is to not allow these toxic ass people to affect your energy anymore and to throw you off your path, to throw you off course. The only competition is yourself because they are saying that someone here is not focused. They're not focused on what they need to do with the eight of pentacles in reverse. You're not applying your energy where you need to at this current moment. And it's because y'all have allowed some people to disrupt your energy here. With the sun in reverse, this is your card. Y'all not feeling yourself. You're not feeling like yourself. Y'all have allowed some people to disrupt your peace, your peace of mind. And it's throwing off what you need to be focused on, what you need to be working on at this time. The thing is, y'all allowing some people who don't have shit going on in their own life to disrupt what you have going on in yours. And that don't make no sense. And the worst part here is they saying that y'all are accepting advice from these same people. That means y'all are calling some people up and asking them for advice when they don't have nothing going on in their life. So, of course, they're going to misguide you. They will love to see themselves as being competition for you. And the only way they can compete with you is if they get you down on their level. Why would you seek advice from someone who don't have a damn thing going on in their own life? Some of y'all, you really need to tap in that energy of trusting your intuition trust in what the divine the messages that the divine is giving you themselves because i'm getting the energy of someone here seeking advice from some people who don't have nothing going on in their life and they're intentionally giving you some messed up advice here you're being guided towards energies who are giving you the same energy that you're giving out because you guys have good intentions. Y'all are coming from a place of love. And that is the same type of energy you deserve to be around. But if y'all continue to engage in this toxic energy here, when you know you're being guided away from it, you're creating your own blockages here. They're guiding you towards people that you can trust. You don't feel like you're being taken advantage of. Because they got their own thing going on. They don't need what you have. Because they're focused on their own priorities as well. So they're guiding you towards some people who are successful. They're happy with where they are in life. They're vibing just like you. But you're needing to let this stuff go first. And you know exactly who this is. Some of y'all, it's a group of people. But it's like if you need the divine to constantly tell you to leave some people alone, to step away from some people, It's like you keep getting the signs, but then you keep entertaining the same type of energies here. And then you're wondering why you feel off, why your energy feels off. You have to be honest with yourself. Because people, the people who truly love you, and that's one thing my grandparents used to tell me all the time. And I tell people that I love too. I tell people in general, because I got love for people regardless I remember one thing my grandparents used to tell me is the people who truly love you they're going to be honest with you and the people who don't give a damn about you they'll lie meaning y'all can sit up here and kick it with some people all day long you getting high with them you blowing your money wasting time wasting your energy 
And the people that you're doing it with, they souping your head up because they're profiting off of what you're doing, the way you're living your life, knowing that it's not going to get you anywhere. But then the people that truly love you, you'll sit up here and misjudge them because they're being honest with you and you aren't, you're not ready to face the truth. So they're coming across harsh. You feel like they, they feel like, because it, it's the same people. They got all this love for you and they just want the best for you. And they're being honest with you. But then you'll look at them like, okay, you just think you better than me. It, it's like, but really, if you're honest with yourself, you're just not ready to face the truth. Be honest about the people that you're surrounding yourself with. And I'm not saying that this is for someone who's like doing drugs or you're just partying and wasting your life. Everyone, their situation is going to be different. But really, look at the people in your life. Who is being honest with you? Regardless of how harsh they may sound. Because some people can come across as sounding harsh, but really they're just hurting to see you looking like that. To see you living your life a particular way, knowing that you deserve better. So the way they may address the situation with you or the way they may come across, is really coming from a hurtful place, but it's just because they want the best for you. Versus some people that don't give a damn about you and they're smiling and laughing with you, but they really don't have good intentions for you. They're just guiding you towards the cliff so they, they can laugh as you fall off. So just be mindful and honest with yourself. That's all that matters. So wise one, they're wanting you to grow within your current situation. They're wanting you to allow this situation to allow you to become wiser. Be open to healing information. I'm telling you guys, the same people, because this, you guys have people that are in your corner. People that are trying to help you, trying to guide you down the right path here. Because there's a particular situation that you're meant to grow from. You're meant to learn a specific lesson from. And it may be some information that comes across or comes your way. Or some people, the way someone is delivering it to you. You may not want to hear it. You may not be ready for it. But if you accept it for what it is, it'll help you get out of a situation that it wasn't it was never meant for you to deal with or to go down that path. It's helping you to dodge a bullet. Because I'm going to tell you what it was a particular time in my life. I had a family member and I asked that family member to come with me to do something. But instead, they allow their friends to talk them into going and doing something else with them. Now, I did my best to try to get this person to come with me. That same day, that same moment, and they knew they should have just went with me, but that was their path to take. That was their lesson to learn. 
they allow their friends to get them in a situation. All their friends turned on them and they were the ones that ended up in jail. Now, this everyone's story is going to be different. I'm just using that as, as an example. So just be open to the healing information that comes your way. If you know someone has love for you and despite the way they may be delivering a message or the, because if some people, it comes across harsh, but it's really because they're hurting. They don't want to see you like that. That's someone who wants to see you walking across the stage, earning a degree. Some of y'all have already experienced this because some of y'all will know. I've been there where I was being stubborn. I didn't want to listen to what someone had to say. I have friends and family members, but I came out of it. I took it as a lesson learned. Some of y'all are going through it. Some of y'all have been through it. But I'm going to tell you what, the ones that are going through it, do not be stubborn. And even if you decide to, don't beat yourself up over it. Take it as a lesson learned and push forward. Yeah, and this popped up in your last reading. Move beyond ancestral patterns here. Stay uh, rooted and grounded because that's going to be essential to your growth here is rooting and grounding your energy. I'm going to tell you what, it is definitely, I'm seeing someone here. You could have someone that's uh, an elder person in your life that's trying to give you some wise advice. And I'm going to tell you what, I also see a situation with someone here where someone that it's like someone that you have disconnected from, they are seeing this growth in your life. They're seeing how wise you are, how you came up out of a situation, how you healed from it. And they're wanting to, they're wanting you to give them guidance to help them to break some ancestral patterns here to help them stop repeating the same patterns. Some of you guys, that's what someone else will be doing for you. But I am seeing a situation here with someone looking at you after seeing you go through a lot in your life and you've came out of it and they want you to give them some guidance so that they may be able to do the same thing. Let me pull one more card and we will close this out. When these decks, I, I like the little ones, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's a little hard to shuffle these. Um, that one. Like, look, let me quit sitting up here complaining about the shape of these <laughs> decks. Honey, I'll be seeing these people up here. It's like when they be up in those um, casinos and some readers know how to shuffle them cars, honey. They be up there like they on, um, worked up at a casino. I don't know how people be shuffling them cars like that. Shoot, my fingers hurt. Be getting calluses on your hands, cramping up. attracting not chasing see when y'all get in this energy of prioritizing yourself prioritizing your healing focus on the direction that you need to move towards and the end goal here you're going to get in this energy of naturally attracting what you desire and it's because you're prioritizing yourself you're putting yourself up on a pedestal. You're no longer willing to settle for the mediocre because you know your worth. And you're also demanding other people to realize their worth as well. It's not that you think you're better than other people. They need to realize their worth too. 
instead of trying to drag you down, they need to pick their ass up. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way. Because of the fears underlining chasing energy, instead attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and a welcoming energy. If y'all are in this energy of wanting new people, um, you're walking away from people and now you're in this energy of you're looking for a soul tribe. You're looking... First of all, don't stress over it. Just focus on what you need to do. Second of all, be mindful of the way y'all are looking at people. Smile. You don't... If you don't have a, dis, a discerning energy and you're afraid that if you smile at some people, they're going to take that as an opportunity to take advantage of you, then okay, be mindful until you do some more healing and you can trust yourself that you know how to decipher between the honest people and the dishonest people. And you also are courageous enough to stand up for yourself, to say, no, I don't deserve that. I don't need to accept that type of energy. If you're not coming towards me with love and good intentions, then you can keep it pushing. Because once you step into your full power here, those type of energies aren't going to want to cross you. Because they're not going to want to deal with the consequences. I am going to leave it there, Leo. These are the messages that came through for you at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care.